Right. Uh, hello and welcome all to the uh, Cotesel International Conference. I, I hope you've all enjoyed all of the, the sessions today. And uh, welcome to this session entitled An Overview and Evaluation of a Cultural Awareness and Intercultural Communications Course. I'm very happy to hand over to our presenter, Eng Hai Tang. Uh, Eng Hai, take Hi, it away. Thank you very much, Gus. So this is um, just uh, an overview of the culture awareness and international intercultural communication course and a short uh, evaluation of it. So let's get started. So my name is Tan Eng Hai and I'm uh, located on this island, which is Okinawa. And I'm now working at Mayo University. So this is the abstract of what I'm going to talk about. So mainly is to answer this question, to what extent were students satisfied with their experiences participating in this course? So to, to analyze the experience, so I'll give you an outline of this course. So first I'll give you the objective and the platforms we use, the structure of it, and the assessment, and finally, the cost evaluation. So let's start with the objective. So this course seeks to, to achieve three things. That is to increase their cultural awareness, to provide students with opportunities to deepen intercultural understanding by engaging in meaningful virtual interactions with students from diverse linguistic and cultural background. Secondly, to build confidence in students pertaining to the use of English by employing various communicative strategies when interacting with students, other students. And finally, to raise the uh, digital dexterity of students by exposing them to uh, multimodal interaction through semi-synchronous online exchange. So what are the platforms we use here? So there are a few things, a few online tools. We use Moodles, uh, Telegram, which Matthew presented, uh, part of the Connect project, which this course students, the students in this course participated as well. We use Flipgrid and Team, Microsoft Team. So this is an overview of this 15 week plan, the content and activities. There are, uh, a few components here, uh, mainly the uh, massive open online course, we use Moodle, 10 units of it, and Connect Project, 10 units, Flipgrid videos, 10 units, uh, 10 topics, and we have this IVE project, eight weeks, class participation, and finally, an online presentation. So I'm gonna run through all the different components right now. So for this Moodle, students log in, register, and this is created by uh, my colleague uh, Gareth from Sojo University in Fukuoka, I think. So they get all the data in and they lock in and they are all together 10 units. So it's every week a unit will be released and they are given two weeks to complete the unit by themselves on their own. So these are the units we have. So the topics, defining culture, individuals and culture, exploring own culture, English in Japan, global English, English diversity, working with others, intercultural communication, intercultural citizenship. So I'm um, given an uh, idea of how it looks like. So one of it is uh, one of the in one of the unit. Each unit there are a few tasks. So this is task number three, where they watch a video and write down what they think. So generally, there's no right or wrong answer. It's to make them think and be aware. So maybe we can watch a little of this. Excuse me. Hi. Ah no. Oh, sorry, I don't speak Japanese. Kanjo, 
あの彼らのご注文の方はいえだから彼女はアメリカ人なんやってそうそう日本語全く分からへんねん、うん、そうだよお連れの方たちハンバーグですかねやっぱりえハンバーグ、はい、つまりですねいいですか彼女は日本人に見えるかもしれませんが育ちはアメリカです日本語は全く喋れません僕らは確かに外見と言葉のギャップがありますでももう21世紀外見とアイデンティティは違うということを我々現代人は認めるべきですそうだその通りだうん So、in this short clip, there are various issues involved, and students、uh, write them down. And there's also a forum、uh, component of it where they discuss what they think. So let's now move on to、uh, still on this Moodle. So they have to do it by themselves, right? So, how, how willing are they to complete things by themselves? Of course, it is graded. And I'm going to give you.、Uh, Uh, it's a little disappointing to pass these components. They need to have、uh, 60 points and above. So 70.4 passed, and these are the people 30, about 30% did not do their work well. So this is a distribution of the score and the number of students. The passing is six. So I've talked about the online, the Moodle. So now I'm going to move on to. IV project, and this is by Eric Hickley. So, this is also an online,、uh, online interaction with other students using the platform, which is, I think, is also Moodle, but it is、uh, done online like a discussion,、um, discussion forum where they can post pictures, videos, voice recording, and everything. So, every two weeks, there is a Topic where they talk about. So, students are grouped in a group s of about 25 of them and they interact with one another. So, this is how it looks like when they get in, they will have instructions for the week, and then they start a discussion thread, and you can see the number of replies and everything. They start to different topics. So, when they are in, it looks like this. And if they don't want to interact within their group, they can go to the open forum where they have their different topics where they can talk about. So, like movies, food technology, COVID. So, there are different avenues. So, and they also have the word count. How do we assess? We assess by word count. So, you might be thinking, or they might be cut and paste from i n t e r n e t right? So, sometimes it is difficult to detect, but we try to look at it. So, over here, when they open the website, when they log in, they will be able to see the number of words. And the level of engagement over here, that is if there's a reply to one another. If they reply the second time, level two, third time, level three. So we want to have a communication instead of just posting information. So to、uh, get a certain score for this one, the average is about 2,000. So we want them to hit 3,000 words, which in, in、uh, Japanese university context is very rare unless they take English class. But if they do this、um, regularly, they are, most of them are able to hit here 3,000. So I've talked about the two things,、uh, Moodle and IV. Now let's move on to this Connect project, the third aspect of it. So each of them, which、uh, Matthew has、uh, mentioned earlier, if you join his session,、uh, they form groups. And so far, these are the countries that have participated in the Project. So more than 14, I think. Very interesting. And in fact, in Japan, 97% are, 97 are Japanese. So for them to get in touch with foreigners are really, really rare. 3% chance. So in this project, there is divided into two blocks. One block is five weeks, and where they have to arrange for three meetup sessions, Zoom meetings. And each week, we have a theme for them. Each block, that example, they talk about the food and talk about music. And then we restructure them and put them in a different group. Each group, about five members. And of course, they have to self introduce again and talk about virtual tour and teach me something. And we have a super live meetup with all the students at the end. So we get in a timeline what they have to do during which week. So maybe give you a, a glimpse of how the new world、like. is getting smaller very fast. Means that we have more and more contact with people with a variety of backgrounds, perspectives, and cultures. Connect, 
is an international virtual exchange project that brings students together from universities around the world, regardless of age, gender, race or religion. Hi everyone, I'm Ivan Benchi. My name is Yuki. My name is Shabira Jafar. My name is Maria Julia. Project Connect creates a space where everyone can communicate comfortably and confidently, no matter what their English level is. A space of respect, support and good vibes. We chat, share videos, meet on Zoom, all in small groups. We believe the new world is... Okay, so this is how it looks like. So they talk about their dogs, their pets. So it's real time. It's authentic. And they are communicating using language, English. And all the countries participating are non-native speakers. So they talk about the, the pet's birthday and, and what else did they talk about? Uh, teach me something. They show a video, how to cook, pasta, and they can have voice recording and also a video recording response. Talk about their school library, share songs, how they celebrate their Mother's Day, and there are tons of emojis that they can use. And how do we assess that? There's this combot. So every week we will download it and check which student is in the danger zone. By rights, they should be uploading 20 messages, at least to have a healthy communication group. So this is the actual length. They might upload short messages, right? But the length, the number of words. So this is a percentage of the entire conversation. And number of messages and... How? How many messages do you think is, is, is good, is healthy for a group to, to maintain that dynamics in, in terms of uh, interaction? So from this um, frequency chart, you can see block one and block two. On average, we encourage them to have about 20 messages. So it's around here. And how do I grade them? By counting the number of words, yes, exactly. Okay, now let, I'm going to move on to the, to the next component that is the Flipgrid. So Flipgrid is a, another group of students. So they are interacting with the IVE students, right? And then the Connect students. And now this is another students. So maybe just to give you some, some background, when we have this type of interactions, cultural interactions between countries, there, there, there is always an element of uh, political conflict. So some countries may not be able to get along well and it is political, not personal. So countries that cannot join, connect, I welcome them to join this group. So in this group, we have about 430 students, altogether 717 responses, 21,000 views and 800 plus comments. Altogether, this number of engagement. So as you can see, it seems a lot of work for the students, but it is not exactly because the topics they talk about overlap. So they can actually share the same video, but with a different audience and they get different responses. So like virtual tour is an overlap. And these are the ones that are in connect. And also some of the topics here are in the IVE project, the forum discussion. So this is how it looks like, giving them instructions. So for, how do I assess them? So class participation, the, the Moodle is 20%, IV 10%, Connect 10%, Flipgrid. And finally, I'm going to talk about the online presentation that will give you a total of 100%. So what do they do? So it's a theory practice uh, connection. So they learn about theory. There are seven classes where I have face-to-face -face with them, talk about different theories in, in communication, a lot of discussion and role play. So for the final presentation, what they have to do is they take on the role of a student exchange or a working holiday program advisor in one of the universities in the country that they are being assigned, they are assigned to. And then they have to make a 10 to 12 minutes PowerPoint presentation to their friends, answering to these two questions, how to ensure a smooth transition in the country for the Japanese students going to that country and what can be done to minimize and manage culture shock. So this presentation is done in small groups. 
So I divide the class into four groups face to face, and then the presenters will present four times with the groups moving around in a circle. So they actually make the same presentation four times and having them in a smaller group will help them, give them more opportunities for a discussion. So far, I've talked about the objective, the, the platform, the structure, the assessment, and finally, I'm gonna give you the cost evaluation. How did the students uh, think about the whole thing? So what do you think? A, a lot of activities, right? So the first question, how useful were the contents and activities of this course? So they rate one to 10. So in total, there were 27 participants and I managed to get 24 responses. So they rate uh, um, one to 10. So the thing that they find least useful, IV project and Flipgrid. There are not a lot of interaction there. And followed by the Moodle content. And they like the uh, final presentation. Why is it online? Because in the midst of the face-to-face, -face, we have to change it to online because of the situation in Okinawa due to the pandemic. And we have this Connect project, which they use Telegram. And they love the face-to-face -face class content, which I'm very delighted. And finally, they enjoyed the final presentation. All presentation is done in English. So I think the face-to-face -face does have a lot of value here. And where they put everything, what they learn and what they experience in the exchange into this presentation. So it's a link, a good link between theory and practice. I have, uh, next we move on to this open-ended questions. Of course, there are still other aspects of the survey which I will not be touching, but out of these five questions, I'll answer three here. What did you like about the course? What did you not like about the course structure in a sense? What was your most enjoyable experience on the course? So let's look at what they say. So they wrote a lot of stuff here. And I use this um, user local, which is a text mining uh, AI software. And you can see what are the words that appear, communicate. So they like the communication part, meeting many people, country, telegram, and they learn different culture. They felt enabled to do things because I think it's gauged at their level and all of them are second language learners. So they don't feel that threatened uh, and they love the presentation. And from that software, I analyze this uh, word frequency and you can see the words that appear most is country, people, presentation, telegram. And this is the noun. For the verb, con communicate, connect, learn, and chat. That appears the most. And these are the adjectives. Okay, Online, many, able, and also the final presentation. So I, I'm, sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, we've got two minutes left. Uh, OK. Right. Yeah, thanks. So uh, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip this one. These are what they say. And what did you? like about the cost structure. So this is what I, I mentioned earlier. The five aspects of it, making friends and uh, telegram, cultural perspective and use of online tools and also class interaction. So that software also gives you a co-occurrence keywords. So I'm gonna skip this a little and they will give you the main idea. So from there, these are the main ideas from what they have written. The fact that we could deepen our understanding of intercultural, international culture from, from multiple perspectives and opportunity to chat with people of the same age in other countries and presentation section was interesting and I could learn a lot about different countries. So what did you not like about the course? Very simple, many too many assignments. So it, it says that it was more difficult than they expected, but I told them life is not easy. But these are good students. So what uh, did you enjoy most? Again, you can see it's Telegram, talk, interact, presentation, final presentation, communicate. So I did that um, word frequency again, and you can see it's the same thing, right? The Zoom meeting, Telegram, presentation, interaction, talk, making friends. And now they are still keeping in touch through Facebook or Instagram. So they enjoyed Telegram, final presentation, and the online live meeting the most. 
So I would say I'm quite delighted that the course uh, um, sort of ma managed to uh, uh, meet the objective that I have uh, desired and 96.8% of them um, said that they are rather satisfied based on the final school uh, university evaluation. So thank you Nandri, and thank you very much for listening. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for that uh, very interesting uh, presentation. I really got very, very focused and engrossed in a lot of the material you were sharing, actually. I forgot as I was <laughs> listening to a conference presentation. So that was excellent. Very, very, very interesting. Uh, do you mind cancelling your screen share? Yep, sure. Okay, where do I go? Where is my... Okay, I will do it here quickly. There we go. Okay, thanks. Like magic. Magic. All right, thank you very much. Uh, let's open the floor for, for any questions or comments. Anything anybody wants to add? Yes, Gordon, by all means. Thank you. Uh, I have two quick questions. They're kind of related. Uh, first, uh, it looked like almost 30% of your class uh, failed the course. Do you, how much of that do you attribute to complications with the technology, such as Moodle and Flipgrid and all? And how much time did the average student spend on assignments outside of class? Okay, that, that Moodle, they have to spend at least an hour. Mm -hmm. So they failed, they failed the Moodle component, which is 20%. Mm -hmm. The rest, they were quite okay. Okay, okay. Well, I, 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 I notice they have challenges. Some are very technically challenged. Even doing Moodle confuses a lot of my students. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right, yeah. so, so. Yeah. But they have access to me 24 hours, sort of. So personally, I think it's the level of motivation. Those who are not so motivated, the students who are not as motivated to do things by themselves on their own, they tend not to be as motivated in the Connect project. Okay, thank you. Mm, thanks. Rochelle? <laughs> okay, I think my video is on. Uh, yeah, that was a great presentation. I, I took lots of notes because I, I was quite interested. Uh, I guess my question is, and I'm not sure if you mentioned this at the beginning and I didn't catch it, but is this course part of another, like, is it integrated into another course that the students are taking or do the students sign up specifically for this type of international exchange course? Yeah, is a, is a, is a course in itself. Okay. 15 weeks. Wow, okay, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I was just wondering, like sometimes it's a difficult to run these type of virtual exchange projects internationally because, um, semesters and terms don't always line up. Right, yes, that was now. one of the complaints, you're right. Yeah. One of the complaints in the Connect, right, some students are having exam and they are not so engaged. So some group actually died down in, the, in terms of the interaction level. Right. Mm, Did so you they, find like from the first grouping to the second grouping that there was a fall off in the um, second one no. or it's sort of maintained throughout? Yeah, thanks for the question. It depends. Some, some students were happier when they joined the second group because right. it's more dynamic. So we are glad that they changed groups and meet different people. Right. Yeah. Okay. But they were able to keep the same level of engagement. Yeah. And it's not all students. Right. Of course. And, and yeah. <laughs> and, and, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Is there anything more? So if you're interested to join the Flipgrid, uh, you can, I have uh, uploaded the material, so you can just click and then I'll add you as a co-pilot. Okay, because you're recruiting, are you? Oh yeah, recruiting every day. <laughs> <laughs> I, want to, I want to expand my empire. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, if, if there are any more questions or any of you want to engage further, I have shared the Discord server in the chat. You can pop over there and, and continue this conversation with the present presenters. Uh, Gordon, uh, do you want to add something? Oh, no, sir. I might uh, just join the Discord server. Thank you. All right. Okay, not a problem. 
All right. If there's nothing, nothing else, then we can bring the session to a close. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, that was a very interesting uh, presentation as well. I'm, I'm actually really enjoying it. It's all very exciting, uh, the, the, the opportunities and prospects that this brings. So thank you very much for that. Thank you very much. Right. And I hope you all uh, continue to enjoy the rest of the conference and see you tomorrow.